Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Sterling Lede. And I'm Alex Linker. Today is Thursday, December 8th, and we're here with your daily morning announcements. Seniors, please remember that there will be a mandatory meeting in the MP room today at 345 about the senior Disneyland trip. Bus signups, tri trips ins and outs, and other concerns will be discussed, so make sure to show up. Senior quotes are due next Friday, December 16th. For more information, check the Senior Class Google Classroom. And in the spirit of the holidays, NHS is hosting a card giveaway for veterans. The cards can be bought or homemade, or, uh, and any cards you turn in will be rewarded with IMCO tickets. Please drop them off by the leadership room by December 12th. Let's show our veterans some love and thank them for their service. CL Community Club is having a donation drive running through December 16th. If you have any new toys or teddy bears, please drop them off by the culinary building. Donations will be given to Kasumnis Fire Department. For more information, please contact their Instagram at Community Club COHS. Now let's pass it on over to Damon and Angelina for In the News. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm Damon Ramos. I'm Angelina Duarte, and we're here with your In the News update. WNBA star Brittany Griner was arrested and incarcerated since February. Today, she is finally coming home after the Biden administration negotiated her release from a Russian penal colony in exchange for an arms dealer. President Joe Biden signed off on the trade, which took place in the United Arab Emirates, even though it meant leaving behind Paul Wellen, an American corporate security executive who remains jailed in Russia. Former President Donald Trump's company was recently found guilty of criminal tax fraud by a jury in Manhattan. These illegal activities happened while President Trump was in charge of the company. The maximum penalty is $1.6 million for the 17 counts of criminal tax fraud and falsification of business records the Trump Corporation was found guilty of. The House has just approved legislation that provided federal protections for same-sex and interracial marriages, sending the landmark bill to President Biden's desk for his signature and capping a decades-long shift in Americans' attitudes towards gay marriage. The Respect for Marriage Act won bipartisan support in the Democratic-led House after the lower chamber passed a version of the bill this summer with the backing of 47 Republicans. The House vote to give final approval to the legislation was 259 to 169. The measure is likely to be one of the last significant legislative accomplishments from the Democratic House and one of Nancy Pelosi's final acts as Speaker of the House before the party turns over control of the lower house to Republicans. The Supreme Court is currently hearing a case on whether or not to adopt a legal theory that would race radically reshape how federal elections are conducted, giving state legislatures largely untouched power to set election rules and draw congressional maps. This adoption of the theory would allow for political gerrymandering, and the court seems to be split on the decision. Three judges seek to allow it, three seek to reject it, and the remaining judges are attempting to come up with a compromise. Well, that's all for this week, Wolfpack. I'm Damon Ramos. And I'm Angelina Doherty. Back to the anchors. Very informative. Thanks, y'all. Now let's check out Wolfpack TV's Thanksgiving vlogs. <clears throat> What's up, Wolfpack? I'm here. I brought this mac and cheese to the Friendsgiving. My name is Dylan Ellie, AKA Timothy McGillicuddy. This right here, this is something different. And you, you deserve the world. I'm proud of you, sir. <laughs> I think that's a good enough cover. Hold on. Let me, let me oh, him laying? I got you. <laughs> November 20th, 2022, we have to get Looks like y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving break. Now, if you're interested in being a part of next year's leadership program, you can sign up by completing the Google form and the Wolfpack newsletter. The due date is next Friday, December 16th. If you have earned a 3.75 GPA or higher, there will be prizes given out in the MP room. Prizes will be given to juniors today and tomorrow seniors. If you miss a day, go to the leadership room to pick up your reward. If you have any questions, please email Mrs. Henderson. There will be a freshman movie night tomorrow, December 9th, from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Admission is free, but snacks and drinks will be available for purchase. Those who are on the no activities list will not be allowed in, so make sure to bring an ID card. 
Well, with that being said, I'm Alex Linker. And I'm Sterling Lede. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Take It In The Ear Day, Wolf Pack. <laughs>